Well, hello everybody. Uh, good morning. It's been a while since I posted a video. And uh, so this is the time of year where myself and lots of other uh, military uh, vehicle and military radio folks get together at uh, the West End Fairgrounds in Gilbert, Pennsylvania. And friends and myself rent sometimes a cabin. Last year we had a, we rented a uh, we got a camping spot. This is the same. This is High Point, New Jersey. Uh, it's a uh, it's a campground here. Beautiful area. Uh, and um, this year we decided to get a, a cabin with a shower, which is nice. And I have with me the Land Rover. Uh, and I know I owe a video on this. Um, but the purpose of this video is I'm going to do a little experiment, do some uh, testing things out. I'm going to get my remote control operational uh, in the back of the truck and set it up here on the, uh, on the picnic table and see if I can get it all operating and, and working fine. So um, I'll, uh, uh, let's move on to the next part of the video. So we're uh, inside the Land Rover. Um, it's been a while uh, since I showed you this, but I've recently installed some window shades. You got anything? Oh, you don't have anything on now. Uh, here and in here. So uh, when I go camping I, and sleeping in here, I can just lower the shade. Uh, very convenient on the side here as well. Uh, but we're here to look at this remote system. So here's my HF radio, which is an RF 5800H, uh, HF uh, 1.5 to 60. It's sitting on an audio amplifier and 150 watt base, uh, 150 watt power amp. And here is the remote, it's the uh, Harris RF 7800R-RC, RC for remote control. And I'm going to set that up, I'm sorry about that. Uh, on the other side of this will be another one of these units. And I keep the other side of it stored here, and so let's let's pull that out and take a look at it. Okay, so let's take this out. Inside that, we've got uh, a roll of two conductor wire, and um, we'll set this is what was about 25 feet. We'll set this up uh, between the two units. Okay, let's uh, take out the kit and see what we've got. So uh, here is the other side of the remote. Uh, happen to have the speaker on it, and has a um, battery in it. Hope I remembered to pack the battery. And we're, this is what we're going to set up. Let's see here. And then we're going to use this uh, wire. It's going to connect between these two connectors and all the way back to the Land Rover. Okay, so let's see what we've got to do here to make all this operate. Uh, so the first thing is this cable is the main cable. It's already connected into the radio. Um, the next thing we have to do is we've got to remove um, the, the control, the, the KDU, the keyboard display unit. And we're gonna use this, this is gonna move externally to the remote unit. And in its place, uh, this cable's outrageously long, but it's the only one I happen to have brought with me. We connect it here, and then connect it here. And this is how we get the KDU, the keyboard, and display uh, data from the radio into the remote. Okay, uh, and now I don't have the cable with me. Let, me. let me get that next. All right, so... Uh, here we've got the K, the uh, remote. This is just a, uh, this is just a zip cord lamp wire. 
two conductor, very simple. And we're going to hook this up. Make sure that the, uh, in no particular order, there's no polarity necessary to, to worry about on this. We just stick it in and that's it. Okay, that's one. Actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to wrap it around here with a simple knot just to keep it from pulling out. And that's one wire. And that's the other wire. All right, and the last thing we do is turn it on. And you'll see here that it's booting up. Red means there's no, no connection. Of course, um, I still have to take the rest of this. I've got to connect the other uh, side of this over to the, uh, the picnic table end of the remote. So let's, let's do that. Just a little close up of the, the wire connections here. And uh, just a little uh, tension uh, reduction here. All right, let's do the rest. And just let this unravel. Too short. <laughs> All right, so the solution hopefully is I just moved, I moved up the vehicle to get closer to the table. So I obviously have to get more than 25 feet of this, of this uh, wire. Okay. All right, so here we are back at the table and uh, here's the end of the table. We're going to do exactly the same thing here. And uh, in case somebody trips on the wire and uh, we don't want to pull this out, and a little strain relief. I'll probably have to figure out a better way to do that. And here we go into one connector. And here we go in the other. It's just a press fit. Just press it in. All right, the next thing we're going to do, just for now, just to get the gist of all this, we're going to take off this uh, speaker mic, which is a, it's a, both a speaker and a mic. And I'm going to set this aside. And this is the KDU keyboard display unit that we removed off the radio uh, in the vehicle earlier. And um, let's see, I'm going to take this off here before we get set up. This replaces it. This goes right here. This is the most typical way to operate this. Lock it in place. Uh, and here, Put a little handset on. Uh, now we should be all set. We should be able to turn this on. It, 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 retrieves, it receives power by the local battery, whereas the one uh, in the Land Rover gets it from the AC, the P DC power system in the, in the Land Rover. So let's turn this on and let's see what happens. Let's see if I can get a little closer. All right, so let's uh, let's power it up. Hopefully you can see all this. Again, here's our two wire, two conductor wire. And let's see what happens. Switch this from off to on. And let's see if you can see those lights. Yeah, so again, it's red, which means it's uh, not connecting. Now it's blinking. It's negotiating uh, the communication with the unit in the truck. And if all goes well, it should eventually turn green and then the KDU should, should turn on. Okay, it's blinking faster, good sign. There it is, now you see it's green, and now you see the keyboard display unit powering up, and if you can see that, I don't know if you can see that, let me zoom in a little bit more. Uh, you have a, a little aliasing going on, but there you can see it. So now we have full capability. I'll, I don't have an antenna, but I'll key up and you'll 
So PTT works, audio works. Uh, I don't think this audio, I think you gotta do audio here. There, you can, you can hear it. Yeah, and there we have full control over the system. We can change presets. We could change, we could just put in a new frequency if we want. Uh, it's completely remote. And uh, uh, yeah, it just works. So let, let's do the next thing where we use the speaker mic and try that out. So first thing, it's getting a little loud. So let's put, um, let's put the squelch on. All right, so that now the radio is squelched. We'll take the keyboard display unit off. We will replace it with the speaker mic unit. By the way, uh, for more detail on this whole system, I've got uh, other videos on my channel that you can watch. Uh, and then what we're going to do here is we're going to move the handset to this one. And then we have to put a jumper from this connector back to the radio. And that's how the audio gets into the speaker mic is through the handset connector on, on the remote. Uh, now, if we can now operate this, but... Um, I mean, it'll fully operate, but you can't control the frequency and other things. Uh, but, you know, if you're working a fixed frequency and you don't need to, uh, and it's already been set in the truck, what channel you want to work, you're ready to go. But to make this a little more interesting, let's also hook up the, the KDU. And so we use another one of these KDU uh, uh, cables, and we plug one into the front. Let's see. And we're going to plug the other side into the KDU. Yep, uh, this is always a difficult one to get to remove. All right, so we remove this little dust cover off the side connector. Normally, uh, when you plug it into the, to either a radio or a remote unit, it's this connector on the back that makes the connection. But since we don't have that connector on the back as it's being uh, consumed by the speaker mic, uh, they provide a, another, speak, another connection on the side. So here we are, we're going to connect this in and you'll see, I don't know if you can see that, there's a lot of brightness here. There it is, ready to go. So let's put the squelch back on, uh, which is this button. We hear it here, now let's turn, this is off, let's turn this on. And there it is. Again, you could adjust the volume using this, this switch here. Now, if you didn't want to use the handset, you could use this for PTT, this button here. This is W2HX on 3885. Test, test, test. And that's all you need to do. Or you can continue, if you have the handset plugged in, you could use that. This is a test, this is a test. And uh, of course, you can also change your frequency and your presets and every, everything else you might want to do using the remote. Um, so uh, yeah, that's it. That's the basic operation. I hope you can see that. The, sun, the, the light is not exactly our friend today here. It's a little too, too bright. Um, so that's the operation. That, there you go. The operation of the 7800R-RC remote. And just one more look back in the back of the vehicle here. Let's see. And uh, let's try to get a little better view of that. And hmm. yeah, and there you have it. So we're operating this radio here. Uh, the KDU is not here, so it looks like nothing's lit up. Uh, and here is the local control unit. They're identical, the local and remote, just one has a battery and one does not, but they, they could be interchangeable, I could move them. And so, and then the final thing I'll mention is that with, a, with, a, with this cable, with a different version of this cable, which I have, uh, I could also just connect it to it as a top connector here. And uh, this is the 7800M, uh, which I use for two meters, 220 and 440. Uh, so I could also, with the exact same setup, I, I simply remove, move this cable um, from the HF radio to the top of the VHF UHF radio and that's all I have to do and there's nothing more and the remote that you saw on the uh, picnic table will control this exactly the same way 
uh, no difference. All right, well, that's it. Hope you enjoyed the video.